first at noon. Of course, our top local story. And it's top national story as well. Everyone who's hitting the road for Thanksgiving. Live pictures from just outside LAX in Los Angeles. Just through the raindrops here, you can see the uh, traffic all backed up there around that airport this morning. Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Of course, plenty of people there gathering in lines, but they kept uh, moving through those lines. No major delays reported there. Airlines in the Midwest, though, have canceled many flights due to heavy snow and also powerful winds. Driving has been problematic in several western states, including Colorado and out in Spokane, Washington. Cars skidding off this roadway. Rain and wind bearing down as traffic peaks today in those parts of the country. Our team coverage will Begin now. We'll check in with TJ Del Santo in a minute. But first, let's go over to TF Green Airport. Reporter Kim Kalunian live in Warwick. Well, Patrick, it's a little bit quiet right here at TF Green right now, but the TSA says they expect record breaking crowds this year, screening close to 27 million passengers and crew members this Thanksgiving travel season alone. So if you're planning to hop on one of those planes to go visit your friends and family, the TSA says be sure to get here to the airport extra early. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Donna Gilbo ready to take to the skies with fellow travelers of all ages and species, making the journey to see friends and family for Thanksgiving. She's off to see her daughter and granddaughters in Virginia, picking Wednesday to travel for the reason so many of us do. I had to work my main Tuesday, so. <laughs> the U.S. Airlines trade organization Airlines for America says folks like Donna will help make today the second busiest travel day of the year. At Green today, we'll screen around 7,600, maybe 7,700, and then when you count in, uh, employees, air crew, things like that, about 8,000. The TSA's Daniel Birch says for TF Green, that's about a 10 to 15 percent increase compared to a typical Wednesday, and the rush isn't over. AM, we probably had around 3,000 so far come in this morning, uh, but they all come in in a very short window. And I said from a checkpoint standpoint, it's kind of like being hit with a tidal wave. Uh, it's like 3,000 people all come in on one bus. They're here and they're here right now. And the PM, uh, we will screen more people starting around 3 PM. It'll really start picking up. Uh, but it's like a, just a steady tide that just keeps coming, keeps coming. And it looks like a crowd of people just landed here actually at TF Green. So you might be wondering if today is the second busiest travel day of the year, what's the busiest? Well, that's yet to come on Sunday when most folks with their hearts and bellies full will be making their way back home. Live in Warwick this afternoon, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Also new at noon, the Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association gathered this morning with reporters in Lincoln. They're warning drivers that officers will be keeping a close eye on the roads, zeroing in on potentially impaired drivers all throughout the holidays. Police chiefs also encourage you to call authorities if you see potentially intoxicated drivers on the roads yourself.